Mm, you know, when I was living in the mountains, when I was living in the caves, when I was living in the forest, do you remember those videos? Um, one thing I never told you, but every time I would go to the city or I would be with the people, I would think within myself or I would find it within myself that to live in the city, to live living like majority of people live, having a family, leading a householder's life, takes a possibility of liberation from you, takes a possibility of really in going into spiritual practices and really getting to know yourself. It takes it away. I thought that if you want to come to know yourself, you have to do what I did. You have to go to the mountains and basically meditate all the time. You know? And uh, sometimes uh, I was making videos, right? And sometimes I would think most of the people who are watching my videos, they have their families, they are in the cities, they have their jobs. So I thought, Indeed, that it is not so easy for them to come closer to know themselves. I thought that, well, I'm the lucky guy who, who can be in, in, in the nature, meditate, but those people who are watching me, majority of people, they, uh, it is very difficult for them to meditate. It's difficult to meditate when you are in the city, when you have to go there and to go there and do that and then I and then that and then, you know. But life put me this way. Now I'm in this position. <laughs> Householder, Dolama, simple garment, mountain. Um, and I and I can say that I understood that. If you really want to know yourself, you can do this also when you are a householder, right? I'm not meditating as before, I do not have this um, opportunity to just go to the mountains and stay all, all the time there. But my inner self that was always on spiritual things, on truth, when I speak spiritual things, I mean basically to find the essence of our lives, to find the truth, our truth. So as I was always for this, I, I kept on searching for it and I, I, I continued looking towards truth, living in true way in a city as well. It, it, it was a big challenge in the beginning, right? But I I tried, I tried, I failed, I fell, I stood up and I tried and facing, facing, facing until I started doing much better, feeling myself much better, feeling myself more true and feeling that I'm growing within myself spiritually. For example, in the beginning when I would be in the city, in the buses, I would feel affected with this negative energy that you feel that but I felt so, so intense after being so much time in the, in the nature when you find yourself in the middle of Lima with all these noises and all this energy so negative, so tense, so violent I felt myself being affected by it but I simply tried to face the feeling that I'm feeling and I would send my love, I would send my love, I would be in the city full of people and I would concentrate on sending my love to these people, to these people whom I don't know and who don't know me. It wasn't maybe so easy in the beginning, you know, but I continued and I continued and time was passing and time was passing until one day I came to realize that I don't feel myself as tense anymore as I would feel and that I feel myself much better. I feel that I start to enjoy my life again, you know, I start to love my life more and more again. And then at the time 
I'm starting to shine with to other people uh, that I make. I inspire other people to live, that I inspire other people to love their lives as well. And uh, working as a yoga teacher was also a blessing to me because it actually made me in contact with many people who, who, who started experiencing this spiritual thing, who started feeling better and uh, This is where I'm now. How do you see me? Do you see I have changed or I look the same within myself? 